this is ed times what? C prime D minus AD. C, but what is that length? Oh, C prime D minus AD. Oh, that's C prime A. This piece is yeah. Yeah, this one is the C is that. It is. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, the point is that yeah, he we're going to the C because we do it. the thing was a picture but the idea well oh we have this we're going to divide this into two pieces yeah we have to show that this over. I'm going to look at here we have a triangle mm -hmm. and maybe I should have put the other triangle but anyway uh, the other triangle is this one, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm? No, no, I'm looking at this triangle. Mm -hmm. The right one. Okay. So I think, yeah. Do I want to this? No, I don't want to look that one. Wait, wait. I just have to remember which one I want to look at now. Uh-huh. And maybe, no, this is not going to be good. I'm trying to remember how to do it. This is not it for sure. Yes, these two triangles are congruent. Which one? Uh, this one and that one. Uh, this and this? Yeah. What do you think? Why would you think that? I mean, they have the same side lengths. Yeah, that's it. In, in, yeah. So, but uh, there's definitely something I uh, you could do here with uh, similar triangles, but Euclid would go out of his way to prove that. Uh, triangles with equal angles are similar. Oh. oh, yeah, no, no, of course, yeah. So let's see. This is. So, how can you. It's probably about proving that this triangle yeah. is the same area as this. Say again? Yeah. So, let's look at this one. It's a little easier now because I mess up these pictures. So if I move here, yeah, so I know the idea. So you have this, this triangle. Mm -hmm. Now imagine that I'm going to, this is one vertex. I'm going to slide the vertex and I put it here. Mm -hmm. So I have another triangle again. Usually I, I can't, I'm not very good in black, but this. You think these two have the same area? The two triangles, I mean this one and the previous one. <sighs> Sorry, this is a terrible picture. So uh, what? well this is one vertex and this is the other vertex. I mean the thing is by um, sliding this vertex here real you change the length of this longest side. Mm -hmm. So that probably means they don't have the same area. Uh-huh. Uh and if their hypotenuses are different, but they share a side, that also probably means that they have different areas. So let me, uh, okay, so this is A. So I wanna show, make C and C prime. So we're doing ABC and ABC prime. Mm -hmm. I would say that ABC has I'd say they don't have the same area, but I don't know which one has more. So what does ABC share with ABC from? So what, do, what is the difference? That's a good question. What is the difference? Uh, the length of BC is different from the length of BC. Yeah, but in area, in area. So. Uh, so this piece is common, no? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it looks like this one 
has more area than this tiny sliver over here. Well, but how do I prove my, it? My picture is. <coughs> we cannot say anything. It's a bad picture. Why do you think it has more area? Because don't trust the picture so much. And don't assume that they have different area. I mean, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I mean, they have that different area. But Suppose you have to compute the area. How would you do it? I mean, uh, I've, I would rather use coordinate geometry than this, but I guess find the height of this and this base and then just take Wait, wait, say it again? So we, we, no, let's do this. Let's go back to the ABC and ABC prime. Mm -hmm. So the, the ABC, the ABC triangle, what is the area? Well, I think that the uh, best way to find it would be, wait, oh, never mind, actually. Hmm. Uh, it's, well, this side is C. I'm not sure what to make of the length AC, but. Uh, yeah, so we said, well, we can say this is AB. What do you mean is C? AC, this one. This is, this is A. Oh, yeah. Uh, this length right here. Mm -hmm. Right, and this is so it's AB times AC. Yep, divided by two. Divided by two, of course. Hmm. What about the other one? Uh, ABC prime. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, that's a little less satisfying to find, I guess because it's not exactly a right triangle. So I uh, guess you would have to find this height and then the distance. The height? What is the height? Well, uh, this altitude from uh, A to the bottom. So it would be the other one. So ABC prime is like, well, you call it this height? Yeah, the altitude. So it would be AC prime times S. Can you think of another way? Another side, take another side, and another altitude. Mm. Well, there's C, uh, there's C prime and there's B. There's only three points in a thing. Uh, I, uh, so, no, no, my question is silly, okay? So you said this is AC prime times this length. Take another side. I could say. Uh, I I don't know if you well, this is one length. Mm -hmm. So you take this length and this height. But the the height here, what is the height? I we didn't I I, I meant to actually say uh, the length of okay. BC. Oh, I see. Okay, so we'll say so BC prime find that length. Let's call this one L. Okay, what if we do another length instead of uh, BC prime? Let's say C prime A. Mm, that's a trick. What's the height? Uh, from this, this is an obtuse triangle. Uh, what is the height here? See, so huh. this is C prime A. I need to see that part. Okay, confused you. I. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it this? Or. Are you sure it is that? So. No. Imagine it's this. Then this times this, the area of this big triangle will be the same as the area of this small triangle. Oh no. Okay. So that's not good. How am I going to, oh, wait a second. Uh, let me take this fellow right here. You could define it as if we have like a few extra points over here, you could define it as the area of this triangle minus the area of this triangle. Yes. So uh, here. Wait, 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 let's continue with your idea. So you said it would be the area. So this would be like C prime D times ED minus AD times ED. And this is ED times what? Uh, C prime D minus AD. C, but what is that length? Oh, C prime D minus AD. Uh, 
Oh, that's C point A. So you now you know how to compute the area of an obtuse triangle. Yeah, and then you just divide this. You just make this. Yeah. 